let's talk about the, the new album yeah. and um, how I'm very professionally, no doubt, going to pronounce it wrong. It's Fata uh, Morgana. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we say it. Hope that's, hope it's it's the correct uh, way to do it. Well, there you go. If anybody asks, that's yeah. what it is. It's your album, so that's how it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been out for a couple of weeks now. Um, so far, how's the response been? Uh, it's been over overwhelmingly good, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of love. <laughs> coming from different directions and uh, it's weird thing uh, obviously you you kind of uh, because you you do been doing the album so long and you kind of um, you can't really tell if it's good or bad until people uh, get to listen to it and and tell you if it's good or bad we we kind of uh, I think we were more sure than the previous two albums that this is going to be at least an okay album and <laughs> total total shit but uh but yeah yeah it's a, it, it has it has been a very pleasant surprise yeah people yeah. really like it yeah i mean i really like what i've heard so far it's um it's i think it kind of fits the, the band name well and it is extremely heavy and very bleak but not without its um it's still enjoyable, you know. It's not bleak for the sake of bleak, and uh, yeah, I need to stop saying that word so much. Yeah, that that's <laughs> what we try to do. Uh, it, it because if it's too dark or or dark for the sake of dark, then it it kind of it's not that in interesting. I think you have yeah, to have yeah. some, some air to it and some something kind of small glimmers of hope and something pretty in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> well there is something pretty about this album um which i'll get to shortly but before that um i'd like to ask you a little bit about the recording of the album how long um did it take you to record this album was it affected by the pandemic in any way or was it relatively straightforward uh, well actually the lockdowns had just been lifted when we entered the studio so it barely any effect. I mean, the only difference was that uh, we tried to do the recording so that the guys playing were in the studio and that's it. Yeah. Uh, when normally we would have all the guys running around and drinking in the studio, but this time <laughs> this time we didn't have. Yeah, and the songs were pretty much ready before the epidemic hit Europe. So, uh, yeah, lots of luck there, I think. Uh, I'd say we started to write this thing in a year and a half ago, probably. Yeah, about so. And the songs were ready, um, probably about, yeah, yeah, year back. Year back, yeah, I think so. And the whole recording process, I think it took two months maybe yeah we had a few days off and we didn't kind of, uh, uh, we didn't have a tight schedule so yeah two months that's good and um obviously this is the first album through uh napalm records did you sign with them after you finished uh, recording the album yeah yeah uh they uh got interested in our stuff uh, somewhere along the uh, last uh, winter and um it was uh, they, they were all songs that they were kind of they thought that they were good and we didn't have any uh new demos yet but uh then we sent a couple of them over and and uh they wanted to hear more and and yeah luckily they of course they they ha had to take a small leap of faith they didn't hear all the all the songs when we uh, were really negotiating the deal but but i i think the way i understand it that they are uh, they've been uh satisfied with the product i, yeah. I think yeah yeah they definitely seem to be i mean like you say um it's been an overwhelmingly positive response so far so that's uh, a sign that the gambles paid off i've had plenty of emails from them about you so 
if nothing else, they're pushing you. <laughs> <laughs> well that's good to hear <laughs> yeah even the uh the video of mariana's rest and wolf heart doing the the dad jokes i was like that's that's <laughs> an interesting way of promoting two new uh, releases but it worked yeah 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 it was Tuomas' idea uh he has a weird sense of humor <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I spoke yeah. a few weeks ago he's a funny guy but it's, it's yeah uh, yeah yeah he's a great guy uh actually we we had more co-operation after that uh we are going to uh release the first half of the uh, record cabin sessions where we played the whole album live and Tuomas was uh, there too record it. so that that's going to be out tomorrow the first part yeah yeah oh, nice well i mentioned earlier there was something pretty about the album and here it is it's the artwork i really like the artwork <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, again it, it rep i think it represents the music well it uh, sums up the band well what i like about it as well is that it's one of those um pieces of art where you look at it and you go oh that's that and then you look at it again and you go, actually, no, well, maybe it's not. What the what's that? So um, how well do you think the artwork represents the the, the album? How much creative input did you have with it? None. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it was one of those things when you see something on the internet and, and you kind of fell in love fall in love straight away. Uh, we were just trying to, uh, none of us are uh, really good at, at drawing or, or that sort of art stuff. So we have to have a lot of help. And um, then we were just trying to figure out uh, one evening uh, to have something that would resonate, some, some sort of image uh, to get us started. And then we stumbled across Chetil Carlson's uh, Instagram page and well, you, you knew it there and then that this this is what we want, and the pictures were already already ready. Uh, yeah. He he had a shitload of all kinds of weird images, and then we just tried to figure out what uh, image would go well with with each song, and and there it is. Uh, I I think that 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 what you said that there are a lot of different layers, uh, ways to look at the pictures. That's kind of important to us because. Uh, we try to make the songs that way as well. So you could, all, there are a lot of different ways to interpret them, and and none of the, uh, none of the different aspects, none of them are wrong. Yeah, you can have totally different way to look at it than us, and and we are both correct. Excellent. All right. Like I say, it works well with the songs, and that you know you hear you hear what. It, of your songs and you go well i know it's dark but i don't know what it's about so yeah <laughs> um, something else well you've done the, the music video for uh, glow from the edge which is a really cool video again it, it's um it kind of works well with the art and the music and all that kind of thing um but same question basically how much input did you have with this one even less <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe well, a, a bit, bit more yeah. probably. But that was the we've always made our videos pretty much ourselves. We've written them and produced them, and uh, of course we we've had help uh, filming and editing them. But we've always kind of held the strings ourselves, and uh, but this time uh, we made the decision that. Uh, Let's see how it works out if we let someone else uh, do it from the beginning to the end. And we, uh, we, um, it was a conscious decision that we wouldn't get involved. And uh, there was a totally new new crew, uh, people we know really well. And uh, they just had the song, they had the cover artwork, and then they. Um, made their own uh, vision of it and uh, well we are we are really really satisfied with it it goes really well with the overall mood of the song and and the cover artwork uh, and and uh, it's kind of everything 
it's coherent it clicks yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, yeah if you want to have our analysis about what it's about <laughs> then then we are the wrong guys of course we have our own own ways of looking yeah. at it but, yeah that's more fun though. it's more fun to have it open to interpretation yeah. yeah yeah but i remember that was a very scary process because you just because you handed all, all the stuff to another person and you have no idea how they see it luckily their vision was pretty much the same as us but i mean it, it would have been a horrible situation if the video wouldn't have worked of course because we know the people and we know their we know where they live <laughs> <laughs> kind of we, we trusted them of course but still you're it's very scary to let someone else do yeah. some sort of artistic visions on your your stuff yeah and, the, and we i remember when we it was the day before we started filming it uh the guys were asking me do we bring the guitars do we bring the drums what are we doing <laughs> <laughs> i was like I, I don't know i should probably ask <laughs> yeah. All I got was a text message that said, bring a leaf blower. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, we, we pretty much just, uh, just had to be uh, there at the right time and not too drunk. That, that was the, and look pretty, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that comes naturally. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why did you? Decide on uh, "Glow from the Edge" to be released as the single. Well, I think well, once the, all the songs were ready and we started thinking about the single, uh, we all thought that, that that was. I think it it, it had some um, magic about it. I, I can't put my finger on it. Well, what particular thing it is, but. Uh, it had probably the best atmosphere uh, well after the song, songs were ready so when you first time listen to them that was the one that hit the most so i think that was the yeah. reason why we yeah. went with that one it was a gut feeling i think yeah uh, it's it's kind of a weird song it's not a typical song for us it has a very 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 long chorus and uh we had to have kind of well uh, lindsay's vocals they are kind of uh, a, a big new element on this album, so that we had to have that that element in the first single. I think that was a given. Uh, and um, yeah, this this was just 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 had some mysterious quality to it. That and uh, yeah, I think uh, that was the label's idea as well. Well, we didn't have to kind of uh, arm wrestle about it. They, they they were pretty much on the same page with us. Yeah, that's good. Um, what would you say makes this a uh, different album from Ruins, other than the title? Mm, I think this is more coherent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ruins was a, and it it had to be a bit more all over the place. Uh, that was the kind of the idea because it's it's yeah it's well it, it's ruins it, it's you can mayhem and that sort of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, maybe the songs were a bit too much, kind of from different mold. Yeah, I think, but it, because it is the second album, you, we kind of thought that it wouldn't be reasonable to take the easy way out and do kind of the first album all over again. I think it was better to just a bit a shoot in the dark a bit than to see what what it is that works for us. So. Yeah, yeah. I think on this album we focused more on what felt the most comfortable with the ruins. Yeah, and we yeah we are we are a young band. We have to kind of uh, try out and learn the hard way, yeah. and just um, um, try to remember what we are good at and what what we are we suck. <laughs> where, where, where we go to the, that that kind of area. <laughs> area of sucking <laughs> 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 and that's a, that's a I big we floated enough without mentioning sucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
but we had to kind of we had to make rooms in order to make this one. This one, <laughs> we had to kind of uh, we had, we had to learn the hard way. I yeah. think, but it's not. A, we don't mean that it's a bad album, but uh, no. there are some things that if we would make now, we would do yeah. a bit differently. I think. Yeah, it's a learning curve, or how do you say? Yeah, yeah. absolutely learning curve. Your English is better than mine. <laughs> um, I was reading the biography of the band on the website, and um, it mentioned the music capturing the Finnish melancholy and sadness, which was an interesting phrase. Um, <laughs> it's funny because well, obviously there is so much metal comes out of Finland, and uh, there's a lot of like really interesting history and poetry and this kind of thing. And yet, for the most part, Finns are like some of the nicest people I ever meet. What <laughs> the fuck's up with the melancholy and sadness? <laughs> well, I think the the thing with Finnish uh, melancholy is is the fact that I think most of the art and uh, music, TV shows, everything that is made here. It has this kind of a sad undertone to it. Even the comedy movies and everything, there's always something, something dark. Yeah. So I think it, it it shines through the music, also. Yeah. yeah, pop music and and that sort of stuff. We we don't have too much of the the party rap kind of stuff. We have it, but a, a lot more a less than than many other countries. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's I, I don't we've thought about it as well. But for us, um, we are not we are not very uh, kind of um, uh, melancholic guys. At least when we are together, uh, we try to kind of this is a channel for the that sort of feelings for us. Uh, so we we kind of put all the crap into the music <laughs> that didn't sound too good <laughs> but all the kind of the, the, because everybody has has kind of this um, bleak side to them uh, you no know, nobody can be uh, cheerful all the time uh, and if somebody claims to be he's lying he or she is lying so uh yeah it's a channel for the pain <laughs> 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 and that's that definitely can... interesting. Uh, so, sorry, yes, it's definitely interesting. Like you, you mentioned, even comedy movies as an example. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I watched a, a Finnish movie because I, I was like, I don't know if I've ever watched a Finnish movie. I'll watch this. I don't know what the Finnish title is, but the English title was um, Dogs Don't Wear Pants. It was yeah. about a dominatrix. Have you seen that? Uh, no. no, but I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, it's a good film actually. It's it's quite funny in places, but it's still really fucking heavy in some parts. It's like, yeah, that's Finnish comedy for you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you not be happy for a fucking five minutes, Finland? <laughs> yeah, and, and and we are actually the the new results just came in. I don't remember who does the 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 uh, study, but we are the happiest. People yeah. in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I remember what. seeing a similar study years ago to say that someone said that Finland has the highest life satisfaction rate. Yeah. yeah. The highest rate of suicides. <laughs> so it's like, quit while you're ahead. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from England, we're just miserable, and that's that. <laughs> 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 yeah, we look up to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, getting back to music rather than suicide and dominatrixes. Uh, <laughs> it's all about sucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> obviously, it's very hard to promote albums right now because of the, the pandemic and this kind of thing. I mean, you mentioned. Um, some restrictions have been lifted in Finland. I don't know if they're like totally lifted now or what the deal is, but no. It's getting back. Yeah, it's getting worse. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, we, had, we had a better, better kind of uh, period uh, during the last summer and uh, 
uh, the the last half of last year, uh, the, the end of last year was a bit better, but now, well, people uh, got on holidays and uh, got their drink on and started to model and <laughs> yeah, now it's now it's a big mess all over again. <laughs> Oh, we shouldn't laugh because you know, people are <laughs> dying from it. But yeah. on the other hand, yeah, yeah. if you can't la if you laugh ab about it, then I don't know what you can do. It's no. just, yeah, you're not laughing about it. You're writing a song about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that being said, um, have you guys made any plans or whatever to promote this album? Because obviously, you can't really go out on tour right now. So. Um, Really... Well, we try to kind of be funny on social media. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe we'll do the joke battle part two. It, yeah. it, the the uh, the battle continues. Uh, we are actually tomorrow uh, is the premiere of uh, we did this cabin session live recording uh, where we played all the new songs live and recorded the whole thing and the first part of it is coming tomorrow so that's something uh the second part i don't know when it's going to call out probably in a few weeks but then we'll just well we have to this we, we don't really know what we should do we are, yeah. we're trying to figure it out uh but this this is a so weird situation uh we try to keep the record afloat so people wouldn't kind of Lots of new stuff coming each week, so so that uh, listeners wouldn't forget about us straight away. But obviously, it's it's hard. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I I I don't think there are kind of. We just try to uh, keep ourselves active uh, to do to kind of keep busy and uh, not quit working. And uh, if we can't kind of. Um, if this goes on, uh, hopefully not. Uh, but if, if it does, then we just uh, start working on new material and uh, try to have a new. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a full album or something, some some kind of uh, smaller release uh, while waiting for the new album. But uh, then we're just trying. We'll make new stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me this evening. I really do appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're I think you're probably, I think you're probably the most talkative Finnish people I've ever met in my life. So that's <laughs> interesting. Don't, don't tell anybody. Uh, we're <laughs> trying to kind of keep our grim image. <laughs> <laughs> it's an illusion, but uh, we we try to be dark and it's, evil. That's yeah. what's the, Honestly, I am quite a <laughs> Actually, I interviewed one of the guys from Corporate Lani years ago and they clocked in at about three minutes. So he asked these questions and he goes, Yes. <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> anyway, guys, Kitos. Yeah, Kitos. Thank kitos. you. Thank you. This was our pleasure. Really. Thank you. Nice chat. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye.